cost wise, you know, I think the euro uh, potentially is going to um, potentially increase, uh, you know, to the 107s. I did see something today which was on that. Uh, where was it now? Uh, it was just the the euro franc parity. No, it wasn't the euro franc parity. What am I talking about? It was the dollar. Where is it? Where's that? Where was it? Oh, here it was. No, no, no. I'm going with Matt. Uh, sorry, guys. One second. And I had it as well. It was, this is it. Euro dollar. This is it. Sorry. Euro dollar peak dollar behind us says PMB Paribas. So the dollar is very richly valued. Euro at record undervaluations. And so ECB Fed divergence to boost Euro dollar. And I, this is a concept that I think, um, again, needs to be repeated. Which is that the 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 the, the, the um, Europe, yeah, at the moment, yeah, are and this is the headline as well. Lagarde joins ECB official officials in signalling July as rate liftoff. So they are now committed to um, trying to lower inflation and probably thinking about um, the economy second, yeah. What I mean by that is, is that they've, they, you know, inflation is a bigger problem than a recession. So, um, the, you know, European Central Bank are pretty much now going to hike, you know, rates. Now, there is again a small caveat to this: is keep in mind that we are buying the rumor. Yeah, we're always buying the rumor and trying to stay ahead of the curve. The European GDP have just, has just come out for the first quarter, and so it's it's bad, but it's not. A, it doesn't paint the full picture of the effect of the Russia Ukraine um, conflict, right? And and that and what it's had on the European um, uh, the Euro European economy, right? So they're taking the first quarter readings based off of pre-war. Yeah. The second quarter readings. Yeah. Basically from January, February, March. Uh, no, no, sorry. Sorry. First quarter readings will be from um, will be from March, March, April, May or April, May, June. I think it's April, May, June. Right. That will start to then encompass the effect of the Ukraine war on the economy. So I think they have a little bit of a breathing room, a little bit of breathing room when it comes to convincing the market that they're going to hike because the data for the European economy, as far as the GDP, doesn't come out until for another maybe two months. Does, does, is everyone following me, by the way? Is everyone following what I'm saying? Yeah. So with that being said, because the data, you know, is, is lagging a bit and they're leading with their interest rate hikes, you could see, and this is an excuse as well for, for example, for, for liquidity, right? From a liquidity perspective, because you know there are obviously massive traders in the market. Yeah, there are big traders in the market that will, you know, do have stop losses way bigger than um, you know we as retail traders. And what you could start to see is prices pull back to that one hundred and seven, which actually isn't that high, right? One hundred and seven is around here, and one hundred and ten is somewhere around here so that's just a that's just a you know a decent pullback if you know what i mean to these levels so you could see something like this start to happen and the reason why that is is because rather than there being a divergent you know policy right whereas you know the euro and the dollar were diverging in policy policy for ages right for well over a year you're starting to see that yeah as a you know, because the Fed were hiking rates or looking to hike rates and Europe were behind the curve. Now, what you're seeing is, is if this is Europe, yeah, if this is Europe and this is the dollar, yeah, where the dollar were strengthening or appreciating the currency and the euro were looking to, you know, continue to or not be, you know, uh, appreciating the currency. The euro now is very weak, very weak and very devalued, which means it's pushing inflation higher, which which is causing them to be a lot more hawkish, yeah? So now that they're starting to announce rate hikes, the divergence and the gap between the two is coming closer, 
right? Before it used to be very, very wide and now it's coming closer. And now, now that they start to converge, right? The valuation of the, of the euro dollar has to, it has to be revalued. That exchange rate has to be revalued because this move to the downside was always was based off of a divergent trade. Now that we're getting a, you know, revaluation potentially of the euro, the euro can't possibly be, you know, worth 106s. Does that make sense, everyone? 